In this video, we're going to look at how to design a dinner flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video in case you want to download and practice. And in case you do and you want to show it up to me, you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now, let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. All right, so here in Photoshop, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create the project. To do that, you press Ctrl N or you go to File, and then you are going to create your project. In this case, you are going to use the size A5. You can use any size that you want, depending on what you want to get. For us to get the resolution to be on the very higher side, let's increase the resolution from 300 so about 500 or 600 so that the resolution is going to be higher and the quality is also going to be higher after you're done with that you go ahead and you click on create the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the background to do that we have two images that we're going to use first off let's go to file place embedded and then we are going to bring in our first image so i got this from unsplash and then i'm going to double click on it to bring it in so what we're going to do is we're going to drag it to this side make sure that all all of this part is gone inside and then we are going to be left with this part so you can even drag it some more now we don't want this part the blacks over here we don't want all of them so we are going to bring another background in that you use it to cover this part up so we go to file again place embedded and then we are going to bring our second background which is this beggar image i think i got it from free pick so you double click on that and then you are going to place it in here now to make sure that we see things clearly let's bring the beggar image underneath of the first image so that we're going to have this first image on top now what we want to do is we want to right click on the dinner image rasterize the layer and then we are going to cut off this part that you don't we don't want uh, let's press ctrl t one more time and then zoom out and then we can open it up slightly like this so that we are going to have the edge diagonal like that you get it the next thing you want to do after you've rasterized is you go and pick your polygonal lasso tool so we are going to make the cut from here you can just take your time to gauge exactly where the line is and then you make sure that it's on the very edge you left click and then you can left click and come back here and then you are going to come back to where you started now what we're going to do is we are going to hit on delete and then you realize that the blacks will be gone and then you can press ctrl d to desaturate now we can push this to the left side a little more so you select your move tool and then you start pushing this to the left side so that you can have enough space over here to put the other things there so let me just quickly do that now we are going to select the beggar image go to filter and then we are going to add a bit of gl blur to it so you choose your gaussian blur and then you can blur it out slightly you don't need to really make it that much but then it also has to be let out okay so you keep testing with different numbers so you probably get something like this all right so i think this is fine and you see that it is matching up with the background over here so what you do next is you're going to click on okay next up on top of the dinner image you go to the create new fill adjustment here and then you add vibrance and then you can increase your vibrance a little bit so that it affects both the images and then you can add curves as well so you drag your curves a little bit so that it shows a bit darker so let's drag it slightly not too much just slightly like this and then you can go ahead and click on ok next up we want to add some design elements on this so we we'll go to the files again place embedded and then we can bring in this design element right over here so it's it looks more like splash that has been put on this one so you can take your time and position it on it so that it creates some style on it you can decide to keep it at normal and then reduce the opacity to a little bit so it doesn't really have to be that much on it okay so you can reduce the opacity a little bit like that and this is already looking fine now the rest of the things that we're going to do here is add the test and then all the other information on it added this for a church so the first test we're going to add here will be the church name and in this case we are using montserrat links to download all the fonts will be in the description as well if you want to download it so you are going to type the church name over here and let's press ctrl t to transform it once you get to the size that you want you double click on it and then you can center it this time you want it centered 
and then you take your time to position it and then we are going to make a duplicate by pressing control luckily for us most of these are going to be test based after these backgrounds you don't really need to add much to it so we are going to edit this one to end of year so that is the title of the dinner okay so end of year and for that we're going to change the font to a font called bebas and let's keep it at bold you can then go ahead and press ctrl t and transform our test after you get something like this then you can take your time and position it so for this one we're going to right click on it go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient and a drop shadow to it so the first one we add is the gradient so we go to the gradient overlay over here and then we choose our gradient and then you can give it any gradient of, of your choice but in this case we are using this gradient so if you want to use the same thing this is the first hex code and this is the second hex code once you have that you can click on ok and then ok from here for the gradient and then we can do same thing for the shadow so we choose the drop shadow and then you can increase it to the size that you want you don't really have to make it that big okay and then let's in decrease the opacity also slightly and once we're done with that you can go ahead and click on ok right on top of this we are going to add another test and for that you are going to write bash so the dna is going to read end of year bash press ctrl t and then you can transform this one too and we are going to double click on that and change the font to a font called black sword so this one right over here and we click ok now this is all looking capitals because i have my toggle character set to all caps so we go to the toggle character and we will uncheck this double t over here which is all caps so we will uncheck that and then we are going to have something like this now you can then take your time and reposition it and using the transformation control which is control t you can transform it to match the end of year nicely after us you right click go to the blending options and then we are going to add a drop shadow so you select your drop shadow and then you make sure that you play around with the options here or the properties to get exactly what you want and you can click on ok next up we are going to add the details so the first one that we are going to add will be a test and luckily for us all of these are going to be test okay so we go for our test tool and then we are going to type our first test right over here let me just set this one to about 10 and then you can paste your test over here this time around we are not using black sword so we go back to our font and then we are going to change to agency fb so this is the font that we are going to use and then you can use the toggle characters over here to open it up it doesn't really have to be that closed up like that and you can keep it around 12 anyhow you want to Put it okay just make sure that it's not too small or not too big because of how our background is actually arranged we can't write to the side so we need to keep our test to right align so that we can get all the alignments correct so now we are going to choose right align or align right and then you hold alt and drag your test to the side now to make sure your alignment is in position you look at this line so once you see that this this line is matching the arrow you know that you are at the very edge and it is in line okay and now you can nicely take your hand off it now this looks a bit smaller so you can press ctrl t and this time around we are going to transform from this side so that it doesn't affect our alignment in the same way it doesn't move it from the line once you get it to this point you can hit on enter and then you make a duplicate and drag it down here so we make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then you can drag it down right over here for this test we're going to replace it with the date the location and then the time so we select all of that and then you are going to put your information right over there now i realize that the alignment has changed to centered again so we select all of that and then set it to right aligned right and we don't want to use this font over here so we are going to change the font to montserrat or better still you can even go for bold over here just to make this stand out let's make all of them caps okay so that it stands out actually and then we can make the 30th december here the date stand out a little bit as well so we can select all of that and then go to make this one black so that it's very bold okay now we need to get this venue and the street name on the same on this side it doesn't have to trespass to the side so we can select the two and then we reduce the font slightly so you can reduce the font so let's try 13 
still not enough let's make it 11 and then we can select the street name alone here so that is going to be the location actually so we select all of these and we are going to decrease that one to say nine nine is too much so let's make that one 10 all right that is fine and then we can make a time also here you can first of all bring it down slightly by increasing the tracking to about 15 and then you can also space it out slightly and reduce the font size so once you get it to something like this i believe you are good to go this still looks very small so let's press ctrl t and transform it to be bigger you can press ctrl t and transform this one slightly as well and why don't we make this align with the venue and the 30 so let's select the 30 and try to increase the font size so that it matches up with the venue so let's make this like 14 or 14.5 all right so it's in the same line now we are all good now we're going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we are going to add the other information so you double click on all of that and then you are going to paste your test so this one is saying that free meals and free parking so let's select that we don't want to keep this black let's go back to bold and then left align it and then you can press ctrl t and transform it slightly like that you can open the tracking also a bit so that it's not that closed up let's keep it to about 14 or even 16. you can continue to make one more duplicate bring it down i told you that these are all tests so you don't need to really stress about it okay and then we are going to change that to side attraction you can bring it down some more and then let's make one more duplicate ctrl j to duplicate that drag it down slightly and then we can edit that to the side attractions okay so you are going to put your side attraction over there and then you press ctrl t to make sure that it is transformed down slightly so that it can look nice now for the side attraction to stand out you need to add a rectangle to it so let's select the side attraction over here we are going to select our rectangle too and then make a rectangle around the side attraction it also has to be on the same line so you have to be looking out for the violet line over there once you get it and you can keep it right over there now we can double click on the layer thumbnail we can change the color to say white and click ok and now we need to bring it underneath of the side attraction so you hold you left click and hold and then you can drag it down and that means we need to change the color of the side attraction because that is also white so you double click on this t right over here that is the layer thumbnail and then you can give it a color let's give it a color a bit black or brownish black so somewhere around here should be fine so that it also stand out okay and then we need to push this a little bit to the left side so that it's in the middle of the rectangle so you choose your move to you pick your side attraction and then you can move it to the left side and just to make sure that the spacing here are even what we can do is we can group them so we can group the side attraction and then the dancing and all that press ctrl g to group that so we are going to select that select the free meals the 30th of december which is the date and then the venue and then the variety to be served and then we can go to layer go to distribute and then we say that it should distribute it vertically so that the spacing between it is even so you see that it arranges it automatically and now when you zoom out you can see that your spacing are even the next thing we want to add to this will be the free meals over here so we are going to add some check marks to it so that it stands out so we go to file place embedded and i got this check marks from png wing so you are going to transform it to make it smaller and then you bring it right over here you can then take your time to position this press ctrl t to make it a bit more smaller we can use this color green so let's right click and go to the blending options over here and then we can give it a color white so to do that you're going to select the color overlay if it doesn't pick the exact color that you're looking for you can just click on the color picker overlay over here and then you are going to select any color at all so in this case we are keeping it white click ok and then ok from here after us you make a duplicate so ctrl j to duplicate that and then you choose your move tool and then you can move that also here you just take your time to reposition that and now we can zoom out our background still looks a bit brighter so let's go to the curves over here double click on that double click on the curves and then let's bring it down slightly this time we double click on the vibrance and then we can increase that as well so that 
it makes the background pop a little bit more so i just realized yeah, from here that competition is spelled wrongly so compete another ti all right so dancing competition and just like that you create a very simple nice looking dinner you can use this for your dinner flyers for work for church and school any other program that you are holding you just need to know where to position your information and especially if you are not having too much information this should be a nice template for you don't forget that links to download all the resources to practice this will be in the description please share this video and if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very bashing thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye